Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. Today, I'm gonna to share with you one of my favorite ways to meal prep for myself and for my husband. I'm gonna share with you my three go-to mason jar salads. These are super easy to make, they're portable, and you can make them as healthy as you like. So stay tuned. So when it comes to mason jar salads, the combinations are endless. You can really add whatever you like. The trick is how you layer it. Depending on how you layer it determines whether it's gonna stay fresh in the fridge or not. So I'm definitely gonna share with you my tips on that. Now before we jump right in here, make sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you are already subscribed, make sure to hit that bell notification. That way you're notified every time I upload an awesome video. Now let's get started. Today I'm going to be making three salads for my husband and three salads for myself. I'm going to store them in my quart size mason jar with my special reusable plastic lid. Now for all of these salads today, I'm making it really easy by using a store-bought rotisserie chicken. This is going to save so much time. And just like with any meal prep, I like to start by prepping all of my ingredients. For these salads today, I'm going to hard boil a couple of eggs and slice them up. I'm also going to cook up a few pieces of bacon and chop them up. I'm going to wash and cut up all of my other vegetables. I'm going to slice up my chicken and then open and drain all of my canned items. And now that all of my ingredients are chopped and ready to go, I can create a little assembly line. That's gonna make putting these salads together so quick and easy. I'm kicking things off with my chicken bacon ranch salad. And I really like this yogurt based dressing. It has fewer calories, less fat, but it actually tastes good. Now, of course, you can use any salad dressing that you prefer. I even like to make my own sometimes, but here's the important part, you guys. Add your salad dressing to the jar first. If you add the dressing later, it's going to make your ingredients get a little bit soggy, and it's not gonna stay very good in the fridge over a few days. And for this size jar, I like to add about one to two tablespoons. The next layer is the perfect place to add your heartier vegetables, things that are not gonna get soggy very easily. Things like tomatoes, cucumbers, celery, carrots, even peppers. Now my husband likes tomatoes and I don't, so I'm going with some cucumber. The next layer is the perfect place to add things like beans, mushrooms, broccoli, and peas. Things that you don't necessarily want to have swimming in the salad dressing, but that aren't super delicate either. I'm adding about two handfuls of garbanzo beans, or chickpeas if you call them chickpeas. The next couple of layers are the perfect place if you want to add any cheese or meat. I'm adding a little bit of shredded Colby Jack cheese, followed by our rotisserie chicken. I'm also adding one sliced up hard boiled egg, and I'm going to top that with a little bit of pepper. I love pepper on my eggs. And then just a handful of our sliced up bacon. Now would be the perfect time if you wanted to add anything like rice or quinoa or even pasta, but I'm not gonna add any of that today. And now it's time to add our greens. We're adding these last and at the top so they can stay nice and crisp. And I'm really pushing this down in here so that there's not a lot of air left in my jar. That's gonna help it stay nice and crisp as well and not soggy. Today I'm using a mixture of romaine, cabbage, carrots, and baby spinach. And at the very top, I'm going to sprinkle a couple of tablespoons of sliced up green onion. And now I just have to get my lid on and stick it in the fridge. Next up, I'm making my chicken taco salad, starting with this cilantro avocado salad dressing. Again, this is the yogurt based one, so it's a little bit better on calories and fat, but still really tasty. Hashtag not sponsored by Bolt House. So I'm gonna add that to my jars first, followed by my chicken. Then I'm going to add some black beans, some corn, some tomatoes for him, some cucumbers for me, and some shredded Monterey Jack cheese. And just like with my first salad, I'm going to add my greens. This is a mix of romaine, cabbage, and carrots. And I'm also going to add some baby spinach, 
And on the very top of this salad, I'm going to add some finely diced pieces of purple or red onion. Then I'm just going to put my lid on and stick it in the fridge. Two salads down and one to go. Lastly, I'm also going to make my balsamic vinaigrette and feta salad. I am taking some help from the store by using this already made vinaigrette. I really like this one. It also has yogurt as a base and it's not too sweet. For this one, I'm starting with my salad dressing, of course. Then I'm going to add lots of cucumbers, some chickpeas or garbanzo beans, whatever you prefer, some black olives, some of my chicken, some tomatoes for him and none for me. I'm also adding some feta cheese, my favorite. I love this in salad. And then instead of my regular greens, I'm using a Mediterranean mix. So this has romaine, chicory, broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. And then I'm going to top it all off with more baby spinach. And just like that, I have six really tasty and easy lunches. And they really do stay good in the fridge for days. I kid you not, you will be amazed. When I wanna eat this, I will go ahead and shake it up so that the salad dressing is sort of evenly dispersed and you definitely could eat it directly out of the jar. But I actually like to pour mine into a bowl and eat it that way. And if this is too much salad for you, you could also make this in a smaller jar as well. Now let me know in the comments down below if you've ever made mason jar salads. Also let me know what kind of salad is your favorite because I'd love to give that a try. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you'll give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.